What's up guys, Random Razor here with a random product review video for you guys today. And today, bringing us a quick look at the Gus Buster Metro Umbrella. Gustbuster does claim that this umbrella is unflippable, unflappable, and unleakable. So let's check out what's so special about the Metro Umbrella from Gustbuster. Alright, first of all, let's take a little brief overview of the umbrella for those of you who purchased this. It does come with a very nice carrying pouch. It's nothing spectacular or anything like that. It's made of the same material as the canopy itself. It's just a thin kind of nylon um, material with a little carrying strap here, which can separate. So you can carry this like a backpack and of course a little button here to secure it all into place. Removing the pouch here, we're first introduced to the course of the umbrella itself. And one thing you already noticed is that this does use two straps to secure the umbrella into place so it gives you a lot more slimmer design. Although it looks nice, the one thing I don't like about this is that it uses two straps. Normally with umbrellas you just see one little strap or one big giant one if it's a bigger one like this that surrounds it because this just requires extra time and effort to secure it in place. So that's definitely one thing I'm not too fan of. On the one strap here, we do have the Gus Buster logo kind of engraved into the strap here. And on the bottom here, we just have a silver plastic handle with this kind of generic nylon strap. Something spectacular. Personally, I think this part of the umbrella is kind of cheap, but the rest of it does kind of make up for that. To open the umbrella up, it's pretty simple. This does have an automatic open. However, it doesn't have an automatic close. So just press the button and out it opens. I will say the automatic open does open really, really fast. So do keep them, or do keep this away from your face in case these parts fly into, you know, area or something, which probably wouldn't be good. All right, so taking a closer look at the design of the umbrella, this is where Gustbuster shines in terms of their kind of patented design. It's a two canopy design, which helps reduce the uh, effect of having your umbrella flap open like so in high winds. Basically how it works is pretty simple. With the two canopy design, on the bottom here, during, on the uh, second layer of canopy, we have all these kind of raindrop holes. And basically the purpose of this is to let the wind out of the underside of the umbrella. When an umbrella flips over, that's because it's acting like a sail. And of course it flips over to relieve the amount of pressure building up underneath. With these holes here, this has a place for the wind to escape right underneath the second canopy. Well, however, the second canopy, what it does, it still keeps you dry, even though there's holes in the uh, first one. On the other side here, you guys can kind of see how it works. The wind will escape underneath from the second canopy. There's these elastic bands here that hold the top one in place and they're elastic so wind can escape while still keeping you dry. The shaft in the umbrella here is supposed to be a stainless steel hexagon reinforced shaft. So it gives it a lot more strength and also durability so the umbrella doesn't uh, break on the stem. The nylon canopy itself is made of a water bleed and fade proof material with a 190 thread count. Other than the design, one of my favorite features in the umbrella is the structural design with the uh, underside here. You guys can see there's lots of rods and uh, beams going to places that gives it a lot more strength to hold the umbrella in place. In comparison to my Totes umbrella, it doesn't have all these little extra beams that uh, reinforce uh, the frame on the umbrella, which gives it strength and durability. I will be honest though, I haven't really had a chance to actually test this umbrella out in terms of actual, you know, real life situations or a thunderstorm, but nonetheless, I'll give you guys an update in the annotations or an update video. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the design on the umbrella. It seems pretty promising in terms of the design aspects of it with the two, cano two canopy and a raindrop design, as well as the steel structure that holds everything in place. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the umbrella, the one thing I will say is that the handle on the bottom here, it honestly feels like a cheap dollar store umbrella. This here is just like a cheap nylon material with a cheap plastic base and nothing spectacular about it, no rubber coating or anything like that. My totes umbrella, which I think was around 20 or $30, had a you know really nice uh, handle. It was rubberized and had an elastic grip, so it was really comfortable to hold. So for you know a price range of this umbrella, you kind of expect a bit better quality in terms of, you know, at least with the handle. But nonetheless, everything else does make up a little bit for that. The last thing I do want to mention in terms of the con is that it is a 43 inch um, span design so it's not too big it's not the smallest either but um, my totes umbrella was like this a 48 inch so it's really good for uh, like at least two people or at most two people sorry um, this one here will keep you dry but you know it's a little bit small for my taste but nonetheless you know could have been worse Overall guys, I do recommend this umbrella so far. It seems pretty promising for what it is and it does the one thing that many umbrellas can't do and that is resist the wind in terms of flipping over and breaking apart and all that stuff. So it'd be really interesting to see how well this works in real life situations. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's my little quick random product review of the Gus Buster Metro Umbrella and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.